Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and it's your girl Natalie and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be making calabacitas, uh, aka zucchini, squash. Um, it's a really flavorful dish. It only has a couple ingredients and uh, it's really delicious. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to give you the ingredients and this is for a family of four, okay? So I got three calabacitas, aka zucchinis. I got two Roma tomatoes. I have black pepper. I'm gonna need one tablespoon of this chicken flavor bouillon. Um, I'm gonna need olive oil. I'm going to need a half of an onion, uh, a tablespoon of garlic, corn, and any type of white cheese. I usually use Monterey Jack but I don't have that today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use mozzarella. And that's it. So let me go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna start with my onions, and I'm gonna cut them into like strips, and then I'm going to cut them into like little small pieces, because you're gonna saute these, and you don't really want them big. So now I'm going to cut my zucchini. I cut both of the ends off. Then I cut it into half. Then I cut again and now my zucchini look like half a moon. And you don't want them thick because you want them to cook fast. And of course, all my vegetables are washed. So next are my tomatoes. I cut the end off and then I'm going to cut it in half. And the same with the onions, I do them into strips. And then I go ahead and cut them into small pieces. Okay guys, so I have everything diced, my tomatoes, my onions, my zucchini, and I have my lazy garlic, because I didn't feel like cutting any. And then I have my lazy corn as well. It's a 15.25 can. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking it. So then I turn on the stove to medium heat, and then I grab my olive oil, and I put just enough to cover the bottom of my pan. So not a lot. So now I grab my tablespoon of lazy garlic. And you guys make sure that you mix this really fast. I did it for like 30 seconds because you don't want your garlic to burn. So after like 30 seconds, I go ahead and put in my onion and I saute these up and I do it until they're kind of like translucent. And I keep moving it around because again, there is garlic in there and you don't want it to burn. So I think I sauteed these for a good minute or two and then I went ahead and I put my zucchini in and you want to cook the zucchini and the garlic and the onion for about like four minutes. This dish requires a lot of mixing so just FYI. And after my four minutes is up, I go ahead and I put in my tomatoes and I mix that up. And 
and then the can of corn comes right after the tomatoes and I give it a quick mix as well. So now I'm going to put my pepper and this is up to you how much you want to put. I don't put a lot. I just put a little bit and then I go ahead and mix it as well. And then comes my chicken flavored bouillon and I put a tablespoon. I think I put a little bit more, but that's okay. And I want to make sure that I spread it out all over the vegetables. Now, here we go mixing again. And we want to mix this really good because the chicken bouillon is what gives it a lot of flavor. Now I'm going to put half a cup of water in. So again, I'm just gonna give it a quick little mix. And I like to like kind of push down my zucchini and the juice so they could cook. Um, from there, I'm gonna put a top on it and I'm gonna put the heat down to low and I'm gonna let it cook for about 12 minutes. So the 12 minutes are up and this is when you wanna check on your zucchini. I know I like mine's like not hard, but not super, super soft. And if you want yours like more softer, then go ahead and cook it some more. But if not, just put your white cheese on and turn off your stove. So now I just top it for a good couple of minutes just to let the cheese melt. And now I'm just going to serve my arroz because I love arroz with it, it's super good. And look at that guys, oh my God. Doesn't it look so good? Look at all that cheese. Okay, my presentation needs a little work, but I promise it's so good. Okay guys, so here it is. It's time for the taste test. And I pair mine with arroz, or you could just have it by itself, or you could do it with steamed rice. It's up to you, but I like mine with um, red rice, Mexican rice. So, okay, so I'm gonna get everything. And it's a really hot soap. I'm gonna blow it for a little bit. Sorry guys, I don't like really hot food, so. But I wanna taste it. Already because I'm hungry. So good guys. Super flavorful. The zucchini is not hard, but not super soft. Like I don't like my zucchini super squishy, um, but it came out super flavorful really really good and if you decide to make it go ahead and um tag me on my instagram and i would love to see how yours came out um but again super great super good and i love uh and it's so easy so anyways guys thanks for watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up bye guys